Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a challenging problem from an SAT test. In a class of P students, the average arithmetic mean of the test scores is 70. In another class of N students, the average of the scores for the same test is 92. When the scores of the two classes are combined, the average of the test scores is 86. What is the value of P divided by N? This comes from a Quora discussion of some of the most difficult SAT math problems. You have an average of about two minutes to solve each problem. I'll also note that my videos will make you so smart that even difficult problems like this will become easy to you. And you'll see people asking in the comments section for harder problems, and it's the best proof that these videos are teaching math to people around the world. Can you figure it out? Now before I get to the solution, I want to debut a new feature. It's called You Feature Me, I Feature You. On May 14th, 2018, This Is Insider featured my video about the lighthouse puzzle that's stumping everyone. Do check out their article and my video to see what everyone is talking about. So how can we solve this problem? Let's translate each sentence into a mathematical equation. The first sentence says, that if you take the sum of the test scores for the first class divided by the number of students, which is P, you get an average score of 70. In other words, the sum of all the scores is equal to 70 times P. We can do a similar equation for the second sentence. We have the sum of all the scores in that class divided by its number of students N is equal to 92 which means the sum of all the scores in the second class is equal to 92 times n. Now when we combine the scores of the two classes, we get the combined sum of the scores divided by the combined number of students. This is p plus n. And that ratio is equal to 86. So the sum of all of the scores is equal to 86 times the quantity p plus n. So what can we do with these three equations? Let's first write C1 for class one, C2 for class two, and then the third equation becomes C1 plus C2. We don't directly see how we can get to P divided by N, so let's experiment with these equations. If you look at the first two equations, we can add them together to get C1 plus C2 is equal to 70P plus 92N. Now we have something we can work with. We have one expression for C1 plus C2, and we have another expression for C1 plus C2. So let's equate these two expressions. We have 70p plus 92n is equal to 86 times the quantity p plus n, which will then distribute to be 86p plus 86n. We'll now get all of the n terms on the left-hand side and all of the p terms on the right-hand side. So we have 6n is equal to 16p. And we can simplify this to get p divided by n is equal to 6 over 16. And that's our answer. Now this is one way we can solve the problem, but knowing this method, there's actually a shortcut. And on an exam, you might need to know the shortcut to solve it as quickly as possible. So let's take a look at this problem again. From the first sentence, Notice that the average in the class of P students is 70. Now 86 minus 70 is equal to 16. So this class is 16 off from the average and there are P students. So the difference is 16 times P. In the second class, the average is 92, which is six above the average. And this class has N students, so we have six times N. Now, because these two classes average out together, we can say that 16p has to be equal to 6n. And we directly get 
that p divided by n is equal to 6 over 16. So this is a little shortcut that you might need to use if you ever have this type of problem in an exam. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over a hundred million views. But the math meanies never praise them and spread their negativity. Let's be extra positive to cancel them out. Please help by subscribing for free to get the newest videos and watching and sharing all of Mind Your Decisions videos. You can also email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. And if you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and support me on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.